appreciation. Yes, the best, probably the best three I, credits. I would have thought. Lifetime. I would have thought that Providence College would have been the best for that. But. <laughs> no, you are right. Definitely, you are right. Yeah, you they think? can party. Oh, go God. out to those turf farms. That's why we talk about industrial hemp a lot because all those kids need jobs. But I'm going to crack open right now, and uh, you should be able to hear this on the air here. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. And if you guys are interested, there's two other cold ones here. Well, we're going to watch your expression now, while you try this one. Now, being the classy man that I am here, I'm going to pour it into my tiki glass. And this is the new Narragansett Dell's Black Cherry Shandy. Now, I will let you all know that even though we are very much tied in with Narragansett, they've been big supporters of mine for years and years and years, um, they're not paying me to talk about Gansett at all. We got a couple T-shirts and some calendars here, but that's about it, so... Uh, I'm actually going to give this a taste now, live here on the air. He has just raised the cup up to his lips. He's gulping. The pondering look on his face. He, he's he's um, that's good. That's real good. Now, if it sucked, you know, you guys all know that I would tell you because well, I have no feelings. Well, plus we were watching your expression very closely. Yeah, the the, the quizzical look he had after the first sip. It was like it, the flavors were just trying to register, but now that he's actually enjoying the beverage, right. yeah, the, the demeanor has definitely changed. And the problem is, is that due to, uh, you know, we don't have refrigeration here. It's on our to-do list. But what I found with the Dell Shandy, the Dell's Promper, was that it was a lot better when it was just ice freaking cold, almost okay. frozen. You know, it kind of yeah, tasted like a Dell's. That's the same with a lot of things, yeah. And, you know, this is transported here, and it's been, it's been in the studio. and. Right. So it's a little, I'm not getting all the flavors because it's a little, it's not quite pea warm yet, but it's a little warm, you know? Yeah, it's not its intended yeah. temperature. But it's, it's delicious. It's, it's, I was expecting kind of a, 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 a sour, kind of a cherry, you know, a cherry kick yourself in the teeth cherry flavor. It's not. It tastes like a beer, but with the notes of cherry, you can kind of a little bit taste lemon, but I'm not sure if that's just well, that psychological. Was my, that would be my, I'm going to have to try one because that was my big question. Right. How does the lemon clash with the cherry? I'm, I'm trying to figure out if that's psychological because I know it's Adele's or if there is actual a lemon flavor in it. I would assume there is, but I'm not sure. Now, one thing I've been finding with all the Shandies, you have to find the one that's right for you because if you lean towards the sweeter things the Dell's Shandy is the one for you and I do happen to like the sweeter stuff so I do gravitate towards the Dell's Shandy but Lane and Kugel also has a very good Shandy which I'm also kind of liking right now it's not as lemony it's not as sweet but the uh, the flavor the whole flavor profile and a little bit of hopping to it is very good and this of course ties into what DJ Psycho Eddie does over at My Night Out Radio and MyNightOutRI.com as we are all here, huge supporters of the hospitality industry and beer and food and all these great things uh, going on right now. In in more than one way. Not only are we huge and support them, (laughs) but we support them in a very large way. We're huge in Japan. Oh, no, we're huge everywhere. (laughs) Well... Unfortunately, we're, we're kind of heading towards uh, the end of the hour here, so I do want to get some more music in. And again, another segment, another segue could not have been any better talking with George Garner, the host of the Haunted Cabaret, because we're going to hear from one of my favorite synth rock horror bands, if you can believe that. It's Zombina and the Skeletones. This song, Zombie Hop, right here on the Tony Jones Show. Shake my shoes. 
here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, we heard from the Demon Seeds, One Foot 
in the grave, the name of that one, something that myself and my old pal George Garner here have both been accused of being. Last time I chatted with you, I brought you into some Zombina and the Skeletones. Zombie Hop, the name of that one, of course, a little horror-esque type music for you in the, med- the mid-dead of summer because, George, you'll be very happy to know, and I'm sure all of our listeners will be very happy to know that we are about halfway to Halloween. We are. The, and the, the Christmas for some of us. Yes, it, it's my Christmas, it's my Easter, and it's my uh, St. Patrick's Day all rolled into one. <laughs> all rolled into one hellation. You know, I, I dated a girl once, great girl, nice girl. However, two or three dates into it, she told me that she hated Halloween, and I knew at that very moment it was not going to work out for us. Well, if I had been in the presence of the same girl, it would have worked out in a different way because she would have had the place of honor in our Halloween celebrations <laughs> in a place that cannot be divulged. As I mentioned, I mentioned earlier, I am wrapping up having one of the new Narragansett Black Cherry Dell's Lemonade Shandy. Delicious. It could have been a little colder, but uh, I'm digging it. And you guys know I am the, the consummate beer connoisseur, of course. I like the expensive stuff. When the expensive stuff isn't available, I'll take the cheap stuff. <laughs> yes, you're a connoisseur, but not snobbish. Not a snobosaur. That's right. So, unfortunately, we are, we are running just about out of time. I'll be with you until the top of the hour, and I'd be remiss if I didn't kick it back down to some local music. So, actually, DJ Psycho Eddie is here, and he introduced me to this next band. We're going to hear from the Quins, and this is a track called Break My Heart. You were tuned in to the Tony Jones Show. TonyJones.org, Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show, and on Twitter at Tony Jones in RI. Local music now, it's the Quinn's Heart to Break. I kind of just figured out it took me so long to see. That the reason for your pain Is something going wrong with me And I really never thought of you For all the things you were going through Yeah, yeah Now you're stuck with a broken heart Your world is gonna fall apart Oh, oh, yeah So while you lay there with your past mistakes Just know that At least you had a heart to break I guess I should have known from the start That you were gonna pray for me And I really never thought of you For all the things you were going through, yeah Yeah And now you're stuck with a broken heart And your world is gonna fall apart You had a heart to break 